Today we're going to be talking about EAAs, essential amino acids, versus BCAAs, branched chain amino acids. But I want to know what you think, so put your comments below. Alright, hello everybody, John Meadows here, CEO of Grano Supplements, and one of the most common questions I get is what's the difference between a BCAA and an EAA? Uh, BCAAs, as you know, are extremely popular. There's a lot of debate over how useful they are or if it's just expensive flavored water. So I've been a big promote, proponent of EAAs for a long time now. You'll notice in my intra workout formulas, um, I use EAAs, not just BCAAs. So let me give you just a real short story on this. So you have about 20 amino acids, nine are essential. You need all nine of those amino acids to lay down new muscle tissue. To increase protein synthesis above basal levels, you need all of them. Now, the BCAs, leucine, isoleucine, and valine, are part of that group, but it's not all of that group. So BCAs are not muscle building, okay? You cannot build muscle with BCAAs. But BCAs do have value because they can help prevent muscle protein breakdown. Now, when it comes to building muscle, it's a very simple equation. You have muscle protein synthesis, you'll see that referred to as MPS, and you'll have muscle protein breakdown. So you build muscle and you tear it down and you break it down. BCAs can help slow down the muscle protein breakdown. So even though you're not um, your muscle protein synthesis isn't being driven up, there is some value there. Now, my thing is, why not just use EAAs? EAAs will drive up muscle protein synthesis, and you still also get the benefit of the BCAAs, which is helping to prevent muscle protein breakdown. So to me, it's a very simple answer. I'm going to take the EAAs every single time. So that's your tip for the day. Um, thanks for watching. Again, John Meadows for Granite Supplements. Have a nice day.